And now, your Billy Wood Honda forecast first. We are tracking a strong line of thunderstorms starting to push into portions of the Arklamas this morning. These uh, storms do have a history of being severe, They've been packing uh, some winds about 50 to 60 miles per hour, and we've also been seeing some light hail with these storms. And flash flooding is also going to be a potential because it is producing some heavy rainfall, and our soils are still saturated from all the rain we got yesterday and the day before that. So if heading out the door this morning, take it extra slow. We kind of got a little lead way, but again, in parts of southwest Arkansas, you near know, El Dorado, and back off to the west and near Ruston, we're starting to storms enter your area so take it easy out on the roads as you're heading out we'll continue to see more chances of scattered showers thunderstorms throughout most of this morning by lunchtime we'll kind of see them break apart a little bit but it could see another ramp up later on this afternoon for some of our southeastern parishes along the Mississippi River Valley typically rising to the lower and mid 80s for our daytime highs here's a look at the I-20 traffic cameras and right now five o'clock this morning traffic's pretty quiet for the most part still giving a red light for your morning commute like I said take it a little easy out on the roadway especially with the heavy rainfall visibility will be dropping temperatures mostly in the mid 60s. Now we will get a break from the rain starting tomorrow and still warming up as we head into the weekend. As forecast first, Amy Sanders today starts now. Live from the NBC 10 Broadcast Center, this is your Arklamas News Source. Voted best weather and home of the live storm tracker Doppler radar. This is NBC 10 News Today. Good morning, thank you for waking up with us. I'm Abby Price. And I'm Hannah Clark. New this morning, a Shreveport news anchor who also served as the organization's news director is subject of an ongoing investigation by police. The investigation was sparked due to the efforts of three men who say they've made it their mission to catch men trying to have sex with underage girls. NBC's Dan Jovic reports. What we do, we catch like child predators. Antonio Coleman, Cameron Kennan, and Katario Grigsby are self-described predator hunters. For a little over three weeks, they've been pretending to be an underage girl online in an effort to catfish local men who are allegedly trying to meet up for sex. It's just crazy like how fast they just, like how fast they are willing to meet young, like young females. It's just crazy. The trio says they were surprised by their efforts last Wednesday, May 29th. That day, Shreveport Police received a call at 11.04 a.m. The call came from former KTBS News anchor Bill Lund. According to police and a call for service report obtained by NBC6, Lund claimed he was the victim of an assault and battery. But a case report on the alleged incident paints a different story. According to the case report, the alleged offense is not for assault and battery, rather for computer-aided solicitation for sexual purposes. These three men are the reason why. And so he's seen as he darted out. They created a fake meet me profile. That profile is of an underage girl. They say they then wait for men to like the profile and spark a conversation. They say Lund initiated a conversation Tuesday night. They had a little conversation going on and he asked how old she was. The, the girl told us he was, she was 15 years old. Antonio says he was actually the girl. He says he and Lund exchanged dozens upon dozens of text messages over the next several hours, where the conversation quickly turned to sex. He was like sending like pictures to her. He was saying he wanted to do this to her, like explicit things I can't see on camera. Antonio checked the phone number he was texting with. It was the same number Lund lists on his LinkedIn profile. I'm like, oh my God. So I looked to the Facebook. I'm like, this is really his number. It's a real Bill Lund. And so it was just really just crazy. We were shown images in the text message chain displaying sexually explicit photos that Lund allegedly sent of himself. Antonio says Lund set up a meeting date last Wednesday. He came on his lunch break from work to come meet her. According to Antonio, when Lund arrived at their designated meeting spot, the trio jumped out, informing him of what was happening. You can see, like, the guilt in his eyes. Like, he knew, like, oh, I I'm done. They say Lund ran and later called police, saying he was the victim of an assault and battery. The three men waited for police to arrive. They say hours of questioning followed. The call for service report shows police spent four hours and 21 minutes at the scene. The young men say Lund was handcuffed in the back of a police vehicle for hours. All parties were released from the scene with no charges filed. Shreveport police told me there is an active investigation into Lund based on the events of that day. I tried reaching out to Lund to get his side of the story. Please leave your name and number and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks. Have a great day. Bill, this is Dan Javik calling from NBC6 News. Trying to get your side of the story related to an incident that took place last week. My call went unanswered and was not returned. The thing is, as Bill was running off, he, he, he yells, I have a wife and kids. I'm sitting there, as he's running off, I'm thinking in my head, how can you say that when you literally just walk, walked yourself in the house expecting to meet 
which he was going to do regardless. Lund resigned Monday from both of his roles at KTBS. Well, of course, we will keep you updated on that story. Moving on, as your local weather station, power companies in Louisiana say they are ready for this hurricane season. Energy says their workers have spent every day getting ready, but wants to remind customers of a few things, such as having a plan laid out and having a first aid kit. Energy also has a few tips for when a hurricane does hit. Please check your facilities on your home, your meter can, your weather head. Make sure those are intact because we want to restore you while we're there so we can get you back as quickly as we can. The other thing too is, you know, um, if you see our linemen, let them do their thing. I need them to keep rolling and make sure they're focused on getting the job done and, and doing it safely. Vineyard also says it's important to keep your contact information updated. Staying in weather news, congressional leaders continue to work on the rising cost of flood insurance, especially here in Louisiana. U.S. Senator Bill Cassidy spoke from the Senate floor to tell other law lawmakers about the need to make changes to FEMA's new version of the National Flood Insurance Program known as Risk Rating 2.0. He told personal stories of people in the state who've had to drop their insurance due to the rising cost. And this is the kind of story you hear over and over in our state. So I'm continuing to push legislation to fix Risk Rating 2.0, to make it transparent, and most importantly, to make flood insurance affordable again. Cassidy says some policyholders have seen their insurance costs more than quadruple. In news at the state capitol, a Louisiana law that passed during the 2023 regular session is now in effect for all libraries across the state. NBC 10's Haley Hines brings us more details. Act 436 that went into effect on June 1st now requires Louisiana libraries to offer different levels of access for juvenile library cards. In 2023, the Louisiana legislator passed a law that requires local libraries to revise their juvenile card policies to include access options for children ages 0 to 17. Each library system in the state will have specific options unique to each location. We spoke to the director of the Lincoln Parish Library who broke down what the law means for parents and children. Children can no longer have access to any collections in the library that would include sexually explicit materials. It also states that they cannot have access to digital materials without parental permission up front. The Lincoln Parish Library will limit access to materials deemed as sexually explicit content by the Library Board of Control in accord with the Request for Consideration policy. Balam detailed the library card options available for minors. For us, we just have two options. We have a juvenile card and a teen card, which would be restricted to those collections for, so basically age-appropriate collections for children. Balam stated that current juvenile library cards are still in use, but are set to restricted access by default and must have parental permission to access digital or restricted content. He continued by detailing how parents and guardians can opt out of the default access level. The parent has to come in and put a signature in their ch child's account. Once that happens, then they get a Children's Plus or a Teen Plus card, and then that just basically gives them full access to the entire collection of the library and then digital content. Reporting in Ruston, Louisiana, for your Arklamis News Source, I'm Haley Hines. And more from across the Pelican State, Louisiana trans advocates are condemning Louisiana lawmakers for passing three laws that target LGBTQ plus students and teachers in the state. They say the bills directly defy new federal Title IX rules, stripping away protections for LGBTQ plus students and leaving schools across the state open to lawsuits. Despite the legislation, schools still have to protect students from bullying, harassment and discrimination. That includes ensuring students are not subject to misgendering and dead naming from teachers and other students. We are eight months away from the Super Bowl being played in New Orleans. And Tuesday, Je Governor Jeff Landry gave a major update. Mallory Smith has more details. There is not a city that I believe can host a sporting event better than the city of New Orleans. Come January 9th, 2025, the Big Easy will be packed with football fans. Preparing for the Super Bowl is our top priority. It's why Louisiana leaders are meeting months in advance, trying to tackle unsolved problems in the city to wow newcomers. These projects will not only shine for Super Bowl, but they will enhance the quality of life citywide 
for again years to come. 67 road projects, 75 lighting projects, 46 concrete and sidewalk projects, and over 40 drainage projects, all expected to be completed before the big game. So far, three homeless encampments have already been cleared out, with more expected in the coming months. It is a massive effort. Look at this whole team. They're all working together to ensure a successful week. We're pretty good at this Super Bowl thing, and we'd actually like a few more. We're here to demonstrate that Louisiana and New Orleans are uniquely great at hosting Super Bowls. Safety is also on the forefront of everyone's mind, but they say that's all still in the planning stages, along with the halftime show. We have more Grammy nominees than any state per capita in the country year in and year out. Surely they can find some great Louisiana talent to put on the best halftime show ever. And Entergy says there's no need to worry about another possible blackout in the dome like the last time we hosted a Super Bowl. We have the equipment and the redundancies in place to to make sure the dome you know puts this game off without a hitch. On today's Ask the Arklamist, we want to know, are you making plans to be in New Orleans for the 2025 big game? Just scan that QR code on your screen or go to myarklamist.com slash vote and let us know. We'll take a look at the results throughout today's show. Well, still to come on NBC 10 News today, we sit down to learn about the new music on the Body Music Festival. But first, here is Chase with a look at your fishing game forecast. We are still tracking a strong line of thunderstorms beginning to enter parts of the Arklamas, and we can still see more activity later today. More details coming up, but first, here's a look at your fish game forecast. for ways to get the best bang for your buck? Are you struggling to save for a trip or having trouble with the down payment on a new home? Then watch Money Minute from Washita Valley Federal Credit Union. Monday mornings on NBC 10 News Today. Billy Wood Ford, a really good Billy Wood deal. This is Skip Russell, your local State Farm Insurance agent in Ruston, Louisiana. We want to invite you to give us the opportunity to be your insurance agent. We have the knowledge, we have the experience to serve your insurance needs. Call us today at 255-5050 or come by our office at 105 East Reynolds Drive in Ruston. We are here to serve you. 255-5050, call us today. At TNT Stem Cell, we offer a wide range of aesthetic services that will help you take your beauty and well-being goals to the next level. Our procedures use your own stem cells, creating platelet-rich plasma, PRP, in conjunction with exosomes. Exosomes are used in the treatment process with PRP facelift and microneedling to improve your complexion and overall well-being. Visit TNTStemCell.com to learn more from microneedling, hair restoration, men and women's health. Come see us at TNT. Thank you for calling White Ford. How can we help you today? Hi, I'm Hunter White with White Ford in Winsboro. We have been proudly serving our community and our customers for over 65 years. Customer service has always been a priority for our business, and we have won Ford's highest honor in customer satisfaction 16 times. At White Ford, service is our business and has been for over six decades. Come see for yourself at White Ford in Winsboro. They put their lives on the line for our country. They served with honor, dignity, and courage. Serving took them to places far and away, and they have so many stories to tell. At NBC10 News, we want to hear those stories. Go to myarklamist.com to nominate a veteran you know. And once a month on NBC10 News Today, we'll share the story of one heroic veteran. Salute to Veterans on NBC10 is sponsored by Aero Dental Center. Well, in the upstream Some people believe dogs can sense a change in the weather. <laughs> we tend to agree. Stay alert with the NBC10 Barren Weather app, sponsored by Bayou Kubota. Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by Homeland Bank. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. 
We well, actually making a strong line of thunderstorms making its way into portions of the Arklamist, already pushing into parts of southern Arkansas already, to Magnolia and El Dorado, picking up on heavy rainfall already. And these storms do have a history of being severe, but some of them have begun to weaken a little bit, but they're still producing some gusty winds and heavy rainfall nonetheless. So those will be kind of the main threats with these particular line of thunderstorms as they kind of start making their way across the Arklamist is out ahead of a cold front that is swinging into the Arklatex area. Now again, there is a chance for some strong uh, stronger thunderstorms for some of our southern parishes lying south I-20 corridor and it's been the kind of the same threats that we kind of saw earlier in the week mainly just gusty winds and that potential for some small hail but flash flooding is also going to be a problem for today as well. Temperatures are starting off mainly in the mid 60s for 68 degrees but now 69 in Monticello 68 in Ruston still in the 70s out in the Arquitex area. Dew points still in the mid 60s we got a couple spots in the 70s so still plenty of moisture for these storms to still fuel off of but the atmosphere itself is still been in a uh, recovery mode more or less so these storms haven't just been just you know robust or picked up a lot of strength. Our forecast highs will no doubt be pending on where these storms are going to be sitting around 1 or 2 o'clock later today. We'll probably remain mainly in the lower to mid 80s for this afternoon. Again not a great day if you have outdoor plans again it's going to be mostly cloudy and we're going to see more sh uh, sh uh, showers and thunderstorms for this afternoon but starting tomorrow and going into Friday we will start to see some clearing and get a much need a break from all the rain thunderstorms we saw early in the week and over the weekend. So moving forward, the cold front is going to be kind of swinging on through later on this afternoon. We'll see the storms push further to the southeast and even still some leftover stragglers right along the boundary layer around 8, 9 o'clock tonight and might even linger around midnight as well into 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. But as we go into tomorrow, the front will be further down to the south. We'll see some slightly dry air try to push in out of the north, but don't expect much of any way of cooling because even though it's a cold front, our temperatures are still expected to be rising back to lower 90s as high pressure begins to settle in just up to the northwest. So mainly this morning, be extra careful if you have to be out on the road. There's definitely plenty of ground to, uh, cloud to ground lightning with these storms, heavy rainfall and those gusty winds, and it won't take a whole lot to knock over or blow over trees because the ground is so saturated. You can have uh, just sub-severe wind gusts of 40 to 50, and that still be enough to knock over some trees with the saturated ground. Now, as we go into tomorrow, we'll still see some leftover stragglers around 2 a.m., but by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, clouds break apart and sunshine will return, but warming us up as we head towards the weekend. There is a marginal risk 1 out of 5, but again, that's just for that flooding threat and also for some of those gusty winds, as we could still see an additional 1 to potentially 2 inches of rainfall, so that flood that remains. Aerial flood watches remain in effect till at least 7 p.m. for a good chunk of the Arklamis. Fetty high about 85 degrees for this afternoon, and tonight will fall to the lower 70s as thunderstorms will still linger. And then through the weekend, we'll be a little bit warmer, getting hotter on Saturday to the lower 90s, but more chances of rain later next week, but cooling down to the mid 80s next Monday and Tuesday. So that's it, right back, watching NBC 10 News Today. Bruce B's had lots of experience. 40 plus years of experience. There are some things that I see very clearly from the beginning. Bruce is great at turning cases that other people would turn down into something. We were able to turn those cases around. Bruce obviously loves what he does. You have to basically evaluate, is this something that we could help this person pursue a valid claim? Bruce loves helping people. You need Flint Crawford and Cogman working for you. Are you looking for a way to save money on your monthly car payment? For a limited time, refinance your current auto loan with Washita Valley Federal Credit Union, and we will beat your current rate. If we can't, we'll give you a $25 Visa gift card just for trying. And like always, we offer 90 days no payment. Take control of your finances and explore the benefits of refinancing. Washita Valley, making good things happen. Watch area kids live their baseball dreams on League Lights every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on NBC 10 News at 10. Sponsored by Century Next Bank. Hi, I'm Karen Stansbury with Wound Ostomy Care Clinic in West Monroe. You have a choice in choosing your wound and ostomy care provider. I treat wounds that will not heal and difficult ostomies. Go to askthepros at myarklamiss.com. Have you seen foam lift concrete? 
With Level Tech Foundation and Concrete Repair, we can fix sinking concrete easily with poly-level foam. The foam fills the empty spaces under the concrete to raise it in place. No more tripping on sidewalks. Just call Level Tech. Level out the ugly concrete situation with poly-level foam from Level Tech. Raise your property value and decrease your chance of injury with level concrete. Don't replace it, raise it. Call Level Tech Foundation and Concrete Repair today for a free inspection. Stay alert with the NBC10 Barron Weather App, sponsored by Level Tech. KTVE, KARD, and Max Fresh Market present the 6th Annual Homeless Veterans Food Drive. Stop by Max Fresh Market in Monroe, West Monroe, Schwartz, or Columbia to purchase a $10 bag of food. All food, purchased or donated, will be distributed to local homeless veterans by the Wellspring. $10 can go a long way to make sure a homeless vet is fed. Make a difference in a veteran's life. Buy a bag today. Brought to you by these sponsors. Meteorologist Alex Noel, weeknights on NBC 10 News. NBC 10 News Today continues. All right, well, there is a music festival happening this week, and I'm joined this morning by Chris, Mel, and Greg. They're going to tell us a little bit about the new music on the Bayou Music Festival. So, guys, thank you all for joining us this morning. Thank, thank you for having us. Yes, of course. Now, tell us a little bit about the festival. What do people need to know about it? Well, it's a four-day music festival. We have uh, 10 concerts over those four days spread out between Monroe, West Monroe, and Ruston. And um, it's most easy to find the locations and times on the websites, but we usually have a concert in the afternoon and evening, and then sometimes late afternoon, sometimes mid-morning. So, um, but these, the festival uh, is the music of composers from kind of around the world and all those composers Ooh. are here to watch it be prepared and to be at the performances so if, if you're interested in coming to the concerts you can meet the composers and talk to them about their works wow that's, that's awesome i love yeah. that now chris you're actually one of the composers tell us a little yeah. bit about you know your involvement and what this means to you to get to be part of the festival oh yeah well, I'm, I'm delighted to be here obviously um my my involvement is i um i wrote a piece for the festival last year um, and um, and sadly I couldn't be there in person, so I was kind of there remotely over yeah. Zoom. Um, and then the piece I wrote last year won a prize that meant that this year I was commissioned to write something. Okay, cool. So I've written a song cycle for a soprano and piano, and um, that will be performed on the last day of the festival. That's awesome. We're glad to have you here in Louisiana Thank with us. Me. Enjoying yes. all this, this humid Louisiana <laughs> heat while you're here. <laughs> <laughs> not, the, not the prettiest time of year, but we'll, we'll do it. It's fine. Yeah. All right, so can you give us a little bit more detail, like how did the idea come to be? Sure, well we've, um, this is the eighth year for the festival. We started in 2016. Awesome. I teach at Louisiana Tech and Mel teaches at the University of Louisiana at Monroe. Okay. And we wanted to bring our, our universities and our communities together for, for an event, uh, you know, and that's why we have concerts both on campus and then off campus in, in some really unique venues like the Black Bayou Wildlife Refuge on Saturday the 8th. Uh, in the morning, also the Flying Tiger Brewery, and yeah. then over in Ruston, we're going to be. Um, um, which are the Ruston locations? We've got some at the, campus, the Lincoln the Parish Library Event Center. That will be a, a nice one that's off campus, uh, and then a place the called the Loft, which is a really unique um, venue downtown. Ruston, so. Cool, awesome. I love that, and I love that you're bringing people from all their community and all over the world together. You know. Yeah, I mean that, that was that really was the in, impetus for the festival. The idea was, you know, we wanted to um, get the communities uh, more aware and more involved in contemporary music. But once it's uh, the festival started to happen, it just kind of exploded, and we had more and more interest from abroad, and then even from performers. I think that first year we used uh, almost prime, all local performers but at this point we've gotten so big that they can't handle that load so we have a lot of uh, performers from all over the state and then even some from um, as far away as New York and Colorado so we awesome. have some performers wow, that's from, awesome. from everywhere yeah, too. Yeah, I love that. And so it, it, it really allows I think the area to kind of like show itself off to these people that don't that don't know our area. Yeah, yeah, that's so cool. This sounds like a lot of fun. I'm that's loving great. it. So now, people who want to come out and join the festival, what do they need to know, you know, ticket-wise, maybe time, place, that type of thing? Right, so everything is free and open, including all of our rehearsals as well. We'll have open rehearsals on our campuses um, and in some of the venues. Uh, and so the concerts are free, the uh, the rehearsals are free. And uh, if they go to the website, it's newmusiconthebayou.com, and you can find all of the specific locations there. Awesome, perfect. All right, so if you're looking 
looking for something to do this week, get to hear music from lots of different musicians and composers. Sounds like it's going to be a fun time. So I'm excited to see how it turns out. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you, Thank you for Yes, of Thank course. You. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after the break. Fresh Start is a seven-month, faith-based, inpatient alcohol and drug rehab located in Winsboro, Louisiana. We have been helping people get free from addiction for 17 years. We are a state licensed facility and have licensed addiction counselors and certified supervisors. If you are tired of the addiction cycle and need more than the typical 30-day program, call our intake team today or you can visit us online on Facebook or at freshstartministry.com. Are you one of the millions of people who are searching for the answers to life's greatest questions? Well, the answers are still found in God's wonderful book. In an age of religious consumerism, pragmatism, and division, many are disillusioned, discouraged, but we can turn simply back to the Bible. I'm Kevin Presley, and I hope you'll join me right here on this station every Sunday morning for Let the Bible Speak. These days, it's tough to make ends meet. When you're struggling to pay your mortgage, credit cards, and medical bills, it can be overwhelming. There may be help. James Spivey is an experienced attorney to assist you with creditors avoiding foreclosure and representing you in bankruptcy if needed. For legal advice with your personal and business finances, call James Spivey today at 387-3666 or on the web at jspiveylaw.com. I'm James Spivey. Bankruptcy's not the end. It's a new beginning. When you think Acme Brick, think beyond brick. Discover luxury vinyl plank that radiates warmth. Engineered wood that echoes nature. Porcelain tile that exudes elegance. Elevate your spaces with our versatile tiles. Perfect for backsplashes, showers, and stunning flooring. We also offer pavers and porcelain planks. Acme Brick, Tile, and more. Your destination for extraordinary home solutions. Visit us today and experience the beauty and versatility of Acme's wide range of products. Bidenomics got you in a cash crunch? Well, spring into summer with 25% off all our buildings. Whether you're looking for a storage building for your lawn equipment, holiday decorations, keepsakes, or your personal car collection, we have the size you want. Or if you're looking for a tiny house or cabin for your deer camp, duck camp, fish camp, or weekend getaways, we can build it custom to your design. Get 25% off with this spring into summer special. Visit us today at Easton Manufacturing. You design it, we build it. Billy Wood Ford, a really good Billy Wood deal. Meteorologist Sammy Petraco, weekends on NBC 10 News. NBC 10 News today continues. All right, welcome back, guys. So it's time to take a look at our hometown hellos. Now, I was a little late in posting our hometown hellos on Facebook, but we do already have one comment. Sheila says, good morning from Formable. So, congratulations, you are good morning. number one this morning. <laughs> first comment on this Wednesday morning, but I'm sure we'll have lots more come in as everybody wakes up uh, middle of the week. So Wednesday? Yes, halfway to the weekend. So, excited about that. And hopefully, close to some sunny days. I hope so. It would be nice. I know. I, I like the ground to dry up a little bit and <laughs> the rain to come down because we definitely want some sunny days um, even though that means it'll get a little hotter out there. I know but my grass is growing tall now. I know, yeah I know <laughs> it's like as soon as you mow it it just comes yes. shoots right back up. Yeah but hopefully fingers crossed we get some nice days soon but for now we hope you guys have a great Wednesday and thank mm -hmm. you for waking up with us this morning. Coming up on NBC 10 we have more news and weather. Plus we take a look at how one classic movie is bringing awareness to D-Day. That's after the break. Stay with us. Looking for a place where your cravings can truly meet their match? Look no further than Fox's Pizza Den. We're not just about pizza. We're about a whole world of flavor. Sink your teeth into our mouth-watering hamburgers, wings, hoagies, and wedgies. If you're looking for a healthier option, our salads are packed with goodness. At Fox's Pizza Den, we have something for everyone. Bring your family, friends, or come solo. We'll make sure you leave with a satisfied smile. So why wait? Experience the variety and quality you deserve. Fox's Pizza Den. More than just pizza. Cliff Bar is made with organic oats, but you're made for the climb. Cliff, the most important ingredient is you. 
These feet are hustling for customers. Sometimes I'm on my feet for over 16 hours a day. They get real cracked, dry. It's not good. I depend on healthy feet. It's America's number one selling foot cream for guaranteed relief. If it works for these feet, it'll work for yours. Also available in O'Keefe's Working Hands. The Twin City Outdoor Yard of the Week contest is back, and this year's grand prize is valued at almost $9,000. You could win a Gravely ZTX 52-inch mower with a Kawasaki engine, a steel lawn maintenance package, and an L&O 6x10 trailer for easy transportation. Transportation. Plus, each weekly winner will win a gift card. Enter now on MyArclimus.com. Weekly winners are announced Thursdays on NBC 10 News at 6. Sam's Southern Eatery and Seafood, where you can have great food on a family budget. At Sam's, meals are made fresh to order and the menu is full of tasty options. Seafood, chicken, burgers, po'boys, salads, southern sides, and mouth-watering ice cream. We even have a kid's menu and family platters. Enjoy your meal in our dining area, take it to go, or just roll through our drive through Or you can order through Uber Eats, Grubhub, DoorDash, or online at sams-monroe.com. It's all cooking at Sam's Southern Eatery and Seafood in Monroe. Get the fiesta started at El Sombrero of West Monroe. Chris veggies and mouth-watering meats make up the vast menu. And of course, our famous spicy salsa and sweet margaritas. Enjoy the bar for delightful spirits, brews, and entertainment. Experience authentic Mexican food, both savory and spicy, with two-for-one margaritas. In a fun and welcoming atmosphere, dine in, carry out, or host your next event at our party room. No matter how you like to fiesta, make it happen at El Sombrero of West Monroe. Help us celebrate 60 years at Daniel Appliance and Furniture. Take full advantage of great specials on our power lift chairs and recliners throughout the store. We have a huge selection of comfortable and affordable best power lift chairs and recliners with over 25 styles to choose from. Stop by and let Daniel Appliance and Furniture help you discover the quality you expect at a price you'll love. Serving the Northeast Louisiana and Southeast Arkansas area since 1958. Daniel Appliance and Furniture, 913 Louisville Avenue, Monroe. Weather, sponsored by Twin City Outdoor Equipment. News, sponsored by Banner Ford of Monroe. And now, your Billy Wood Honda forecast first. We are still tracking a strong line of thunderstorms making its way into portions of the Arklamas. So if heading out the door this morning, definitely give yourself a heads up, especially around uh, El Dorado and parts of Ruston, where these storms have weakened a little bit, but they're still producing some gusty winds around 30, 40 miles per hour. And also heavy rainfall is being accompanied by these thunderstorms. Flash flooding could also be an issue throughout the morning hours. And these storms could still kind of ramp back up as we get closer towards this afternoon for some of our southeastern parishes. So definitely going to be a wet day for the middle of the week. Temperatures rising to the lower to mid-80s at lunchtime and we'll be in the mid-80s staying that range for our daytime highs this afternoon. Here's a look at the Highway 165 traffic cameras and right now at 532 traffic is pretty quiet for the most part. No backup or any delays to report if you're heading out the door. Uh, don't have to really worry about any fog or haze for that matter but giving a red light for your morning commute to account these thunderstorms rolling on ends will take it slow on the roads. Right now we're sitting at degrees El Dorado 68 and Ruston also 68 in Monroe. Now the good news is starting tomorrow we'll kind of get a much needed break from all the rain and thunderstorms, but we will be warming up just in time for the weekend. That's forecast first, and his tenure today continues. Live from the NBC 10 Broadcast Center, this is your Arklamas News Source. Voted best weather and home of the live storm tracker Doppler radar. This is NBC 10 News Today. Good morning. Thanks for sticking with NBC 10. I'm Abby Price. And I'm Hannah Clark. New this morning, the U.S. is shutting down the southern border. President Biden just announced the new plans aimed at addressing the immigration crisis. Washington, D.C. correspondent Hannah Brandt breaks down the new policy. President Biden says the southern border is overwhelmed. So now he's using executive action to turn migrants away. Doing nothing is not an option. We have to act. President Biden is taking on immigration with a new policy. Tuesday, he announced officials will shut down the border when the average number of daily crossings hits 2,500. And it won't open back up until that slows to an average of 1,500 crossings per day or less. This action will help us gain control of our border, restore order into the process. With crossings already above the threshold, the border should shut down immediately. Only migrants who express credible fear of returning to their home countries will get to see an asylum officer. Other migrants will be deported. And the new standards for threats in someone's country of origin are now stricter than before. To protect America as a land that welcomes immigrants, 
We must first secure the border and secure it now. Republican leaders criticized the move, with Speaker Mike Johnson saying it's too little, too late. Now, suddenly, oh, now he wants to issue some weak executive order. And Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell suggests this is just an empty election year stunt. This is like turning a garden hose on a fire of alarm fire. But Democratic Senate Leader Chuck Schumer defended the policy, saying the president took this step because Republicans killed a bipartisan border bill meant to address immigration issues. The president is left with little choice but to act on his own. Though some Democrats have expressed worries. I'm concerned that this is just, you know, the enforcement only side of the strategy. Those skeptical Democrats argue more should be done to make legal migration easier. But many say that that should be done through legislation rather than executive action. In Washington, I'm Hannah Brandt. Switching gears, a town in Tonawanda, New York, is home to a family of military servicemen, some who have paid the ultimate price. But beyond their family legacy, they are also behind the story of a well-known movie. Maria Lena Baloris explains. Perhaps the most well-known depiction of D-Day is through the Academy Award-winning movie Saving Private Ryan. See you on the beach. Historically accurate, it shows the chilling moments leading up to the invasion and the harrowing battles on the beach. The film then follows a squad search for a Private James Ryan, but... Private Ryan did not exist. The film is based on the true story of the Nyland brothers from Tonawanda, New York. Preston, Robert, Frederick, nicknamed Fritz, and Edward, who all fought in World War II. Robert and Preston were both killed in the D-Day invasion. A buddy and I went to Europe and we were gonna go to Normandy and the only thing my father asked me to do was put some flowers on his brother's grave sites. I'm named after my uncle Preston, Preston T. Nyland. Preston Nyland is the son of Edward Nyland, who was a radio operator tail gunner in the Pacific. My dad was in the Army Air Force. He was a tech sergeant. He flew some missions. He was on a secondary mission over Burma when he got shot down in a B-25. Made it to a village, and unfortunately it was a Japanese village where they kept him for two weeks short of a year. Never losing hope, his mother, Gussie Nyland, set a place for him every night at the dinner table. Tried to escape, they put him in a cage where he couldn't stand up, weighed 85 pounds when he got out. Uh, he was emotionally uh, affected for the rest of his life. A monument honoring the Nyland brothers stands at the edge of the Niagara River in Tonawanda, where the boys grew up and where Preston still lives. I go by it a lot and uh, I say hello. Uncle Bobby, who was with the 82nd Airborne, was killed on D-Day. Uncle Preston was with the 4th Division. They made it off uh, Utah Beach, which was a flat beach compared to Omaha Beach. And they got peppered by this German artillery, stepped out of formation to help a wounded soldier, and that's where he got killed. It's Uncle Fritz, with the 101st, fought his way back to the coast, where he found out his brothers were killed. The Army then sent Fritz home. Tom Nyland, the brother's cousin who fought on Utah Beach, identified the two brothers' bodies. The faded Western Union telegrams with the news of his uncles and father hang in the den, along with a letter from FDR, scrapbooks, and photos with Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks from the Saving Private Ryan premiere. The Matt Damon character, my cousin Katie said, he said exactly what Uncle Fritz said when, they, when we were gonna send him home. I'm with the brothers I have now. I'm gonna stay, and he said, you can stay. You gotta argue with General George Marshall. In 1979, Fritz wrote a letter to his daughter, Kate, about returning to Normandy in 1984 for the 40th anniversary. This time around, I won't carry an M1 rifle, but armed with a fine wife. First, we shall visit where I haven't. My two brothers, buried side by side. The same blood flows in your veins, and I believe the mystic cords of memory will have a pull on you. You will brush the sleeves of men from my generation who had a rendezvous with destiny. Preston's grandmother heard from other parents with sons fighting overseas. Desperation in these letters were things like, heard about your boys, I'm very, very sorry. By the way, did they ever say anything about our boy? They also received a letter from Bobby before heading to Omaha Beach. You know, Mom, I try to make believe that I'm a big grown man and a soldier all dressed up, just like I used to dream about when I was younger. When I do come back home to stay, I promise you that I will be a better man and son that you can be truly proud of. The Nyland family service runs deep. Another cousin, Joe, also fought in World War II and helped liberate Dachau concentration camp in 1945. And Preston's grandfather, Mike the Bull Nyland, served under Teddy Roosevelt 
although he insisted he wasn't a rough rider. Decades later, another proud Nyland son is serving his country, training to be a helicopter pilot at Naval Air Station Whiting Field. To be a part of something bigger than just flying a helicopter, I think that's the special part and that's how I connect with the great uncles who came before us. James Nyland wears the American flag on his left shoulder and a nod to his hometown on his right. When I wanted to join, I saw the Blue Angels over Buffalo and who doesn't want to fly jets? But he has his sights set on a different flight path, flying Romeo helicopters in Rota, Spain. Having a part in the legacy of my great uncles fighting in Europe and helping protect our brothers and sisters over there, it all lined up. Reflecting on this year's monumental milestone, Lieutenant Junior Grade Nyland recognizes the great victory achieved by his family and the military men that came before him. They came together to conquer an unthinkable task and really showed the world that nothing is impossible with the American spirit. Those men were legends and it was a legendary triumph. It'll live on forever. In Tonawanda, New York, I'm Maria Elena Valores. Short on cash, need a quick loan? Come see us at 318 Pawn. Get the cash you need hassle free. We loan more on top quality merchandise. Looking for a deal? Shop with us for huge discounts off retail prices. At 318 Pawn, we offer unbeatable deals, top-notch service, consignments, and layaways. Don't miss out. Visit us at 318 Pawn today. There's not a day that goes by that somebody doesn't say, no offense, Doc, but I hate the dentist. I understand those feelings. For many people, just the thought of getting dental work done brings feelings of fear and dread. If that's you, I can help. I'm Dr. Kevin Finley, a dentist in West Monroe. And with IV sedation, I can help you get all the dental work you need while you're asleep. And with IV sedation, you can take a nap and wake up with a new smile. Are you one of the millions of people who are searching for the answers to life's greatest questions? Well, the answers are still found in God's wonderful book. In an age of religious consumerism, pragmatism, and division, many are disillusioned, discouraged, but we can turn simply back to the Bible. I'm Kevin Presley, and I hope you'll join me right here on this station every Sunday morning for Let the Bible Speak. Simply Southern Cafe is a place where you can get home cooking like your grandma made. Simply Southern Cafe offers three to four delicious entrees to choose from, along with all your favorite sides. Is your favorite dessert calling your name? You won't be disappointed. You can't beat home cooking like this. Mrs. Rond and her team will fix you up for lunch Monday through Friday from 11 to 2. Stop by Simply Southern Cafe today. Scan the QR code or visit our Facebook page to see what's cooking. This is an important message for all timeshare owners. How long have you wanted out of your timeshare? Five years? Ten years? Maybe you just bought a timeshare and realize it was a mistake. Your timeshare nightmare could be over by calling the Centerstone Group. They are a powerhouse of specialists, experienced at resolving timeshare contracts for dissatisfied owners. Call the Centerstone Group now for a free timeshare resolution consultation. Call 800-221-7115. 800-221-7115. Cindy Langston, weekdays on NBC 10 News, first at 4. And now, your Craftsman Federal Credit Union Sports Desk. I went to my first horse event as a two-week-old baby. So we kind of started from a very, very young age. It's in her blood. Her entire family's been competing in competitions for decades. My mom rode for from the age of five to 55. Both my brothers rode and my dad rode when he was younger, so it was kind of part of the family. However, Beatrice de Lavalette took her talents to a different level, the highest one in sport an athlete can achieve. Facing the best in the world in Tokyo, she placed fifth in 2020, and her focus now is on Paris. Go. My life right now is kind of just being an athlete. She's pretty much a ray of sunshine every day. And a little bit with this first I mean, I tell you what, even when she's in pain or hasn't slept, she deals with a lot of those things. I mean, in, to some degree, we all deal with them, but it's, it's, it's a, on a 
much larger scale. Beatrice's days are different than most. I come to the barn, get my boots on, helmet, get ready, and then I'll get on the on the lift, I just push a button and it pulls me up. Beatrice is a huge inspiration to me. I mean, considering like what she has been through, I remember the day that I met Beatrice, actually, I'm pretty sure I cried. And just like that, just dark. Beatrice is the most critically injured survivor of the Brussels airport terrorist bombing in 2016. And I remember the feeling of being lifted off the ground. I was very lucky. I, was, had, I had so much adrenaline and shock going on through my body. I didn't feel any pain, which was good because I was messed up. The next words I heard is there's one over here. And two seconds later, they picked me up. And the next thing I remember is half my leg is gone, my right leg. Because I remember looking down, like feeling down and seeing there's something missing there. This is a middle coma. Like, like I'm not actually awake, but my brain is telling me that's it. She lost both of her legs, suffering internal injuries, second and third degree burns, plus a spinal cord injury and more. But it was her horse, Dee Dee, who gave her a glimpse of light in the darkness. She saw me with red face from the burns, no hair, because it had been shaved off, no legs, and in a wheelchair. But she saw me, and that was the most incredible moment, and I knew in that moment that I was gonna be okay. Do you feel like your relationship with your horses has gotten you through this? Absolutely. Without them, I would not be here. Like, literally would not be here. Without Dee Dee, I would have never survived. But I would have probably taken my life if I didn't have her. Through years of therapy and battling the challenges of mental health, Beatrice has already won a gold medal. Life's gold medal. She's overcome such adversity and she really embraces her life as it is and lives it absolutely to the fullest. But I know there's so much more that I can do and I know that I'm going to do it. It's just going to take time but I'm, I also know I'm going to be on this planet for a long time. Yeah. Reporting in Wellington, I'm Eileen Natchuk. News sponsored by Billy Wood Honda. When you think Acme Brick, think beyond brick. Discover luxury vinyl plank that radiates warmth. Engineered wood that echoes nature. Porcelain tile that exudes elegance. Elevate your spaces with our versatile tiles. Perfect for backsplashes, showers, and stunning flooring. We also offer pavers in porcelain planks. Acme Brick, Tile, and more. Your destination for extraordinary home solutions. Visit us today and experience the beauty and versatility of Acme's wide range of products. Bidenomics got you in a cash crunch? Well, spring into summer with 25% off all our buildings. Whether you're looking for a storage building for your lawn equipment, holiday decorations, keepsakes, or your personal car collection, we have the size you want. Or if you're looking for a tiny house or cabin for your deer camp, duck camp, fish camp, or weekend getaways, we can build it custom to your design. Get 25% off with this spring into summer special. Visit us today at Easton Manufacturing. You design it, we build it. I'm Mike Mayfield with Fast Serve Medical. We're your local pros for mobility and accessibility. Please join us at AskThePros at MyArclimus.com. Are you tired of living in a house that smells old, feels cold, and drafting? Are you constantly battling mold and dealing with insects that seem to appear out of nowhere? Well, it's time to take control of your home improvement and live healthier, all while saving money on your energy bills. Level Tech Foundation and Concrete Repair. The experts in crawl space encapsulation. Call 318-557-8767 now or visit us at leveltechlifting.com for your free inspection today. They put their lives on the line for our country. They served with honor, dignity, and courage. Serving took them to places far and away, and they have so many stories to tell. At NBC10 News, we want to hear those stories. Go to myarchlimus.com to nominate a veteran you know. And once a month on NBC10 News Today, we'll share the story of one heroic veteran. Salute to Veterans on NBC10 is sponsored by Aero Dental Center. 
when severe weather strikes and you need information now, it pays to have the six minute advantage with the live storm tracker Doppler radar on NBC 10. Sponsored by Homeland Bank. Where's your money? Meteorologist Sammy Petraco, weekends on NBC 10 News. Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by Homeland Bank. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. We are tracking a strong line of thunderstorms making its way into portions of the Arkhamus. Now, these storms do have a history of being severe, but they have begun to weaken a little bit as they start to enter portions of southern Arkansas near El Dorado and push into Lincoln Parish near Ruston and starting to approach closer to uh, Washtenaw Parish and some of our central parts of the Arkhamus. And these storms, like I said, as they begin to weaken, they're still producing heavy rainfall. There are still some gusty winds associated with some of these storms. It's not going to take a whole lot to really knock over a tree because our soils are so saturated from the past couple of days. I mean, you can take a 30, 40 mile per hour wind gust and that would actually be enough. That's con really considered sub severe. So kind of keep that in mind as these storms begin to pop up throughout the morning hours this is all happening ahead of a cold front stationed just up to the northwest. And there is still a chance these storms could potentially like ramp back up a little bit, so closer towards this afternoon and pick up on some daytime heating for some of our further eastern uh, parishes along the Mississippi River Valley and the cold front expected to be passing on through later on tonight. Temperatures are starting off in the mid to upper 60s, where it's 60 degrees from Monroe to Ruston, 69 Montsell, and 67 degrees in El Dorado. Dew points, yeah, we're still sitting in a very moisture rich type of air mass, so plenty of moisture here at the surface, enough for these storms to, com to uh, continue to fill off of, honestly. Forecast high is going to be rather on the trickier side, depending on the placement of the front and also where these storms are going to be later on this afternoon, because potentially they're going to be in, uh, uh, just east of Highway 165, which will definitely be impacting how high temperature get so really just expect a lower to mid 80 range for much of the Arkhamus. It's not going to be the best day if you got any outdoor plans. Here's your mailing forecast and but by Thursday and Friday we will actually start to get a much needed break as high pressure begins to settle in and we can start to see a break from the rain but these temperatures are expected to be warming up through the weekend. So as we move forward the cold front is going to be swinging on through around the Arkhamus around lunchtime. We'll continue with widespread rain and thunderstorms and then as we go into late tonight the frontal boundary could be kind of uh, sitting just across the area and there could still be some lingering activity uh, right there along the boundary layer. Winds kind of start shifting more so out of the northwest, but don't expect much of a cool down because we'll see just kind of slightly drier air, but it's not going to be much. Dew points will still be sitting in that lower to mid 60 range and with these temperatures rising with high pressure moving in, we're still expecting heat index values to potentially climb to the upper 90s and could be hitting triple digits by the weekend. So 9 o'clock this morning, expect uh, widespread rain, uh, rain and thunderstorms across the area again. Gusty winds and flash flooding will be the main threat with these thunderstorms. And then as we go around 3 or 4 o'clock, they'll potentially ramp back up for areas lying east of Highway 165. And then as we go into tonight, tomorrow morning, still got some linear activity right along the boundary layer. But by tomorrow afternoon, skies will begin to clear and we'll start to pick up on more sunshine. We do have a marginal risk, but that's really just for the gusty winds and flash flooding threat because we could still see an additional 1 and 2 inches of rainfall between uh, t uh, this morning and also for this afternoon. So we still have aerial flood watches in effect for a portion of the area. Temperatures will uh, reach into the mid 80s and then tonight will fall to lower 70s. And then for the weekend, we are warming up to lower 90s. And then through next week, we'll see more patch activity, but temperatures will be a tad cooler to the mid 80s on Monday and Tuesday. So that's right back. Watch ABC 10 News today. What's causing you stress? What's weighing heavy on your mind? Sometimes it's hard to know the right questions to ask. It's our job to make that conversation easier, to stay with you longer, to listen. At St. Francis Health, that's our priority and our promise. Tell us your story and be heard in your health. The doctor will hear you now. Creations is family owned and operated. We believe in families helping families and we'll always be here for you. We're dedicated to meeting your budget and creating your dreams. Floor Creations has over 29 years of experience offering quality materials and professional installation by the owner. We specialize in wood, ceramic, carpet, waterproof flooring, and backsplashes. Our beautiful custom showers come with a lifetime warranty against leaks. Floor Creations is ready to create your dreams. Come to my Lion Coffee at Floor Creations. 
We're still here making deals happen on the front porch at American Direct Auto in Winsboro, Louisiana. Hey guys, this is Eli with American Direct Auto, and as you can see, we're at our new location in West Bernard, Louisiana, and we have the best deals in town. Just as you can see, we're making deals on the front porch just like we were in Winsboro. And if you want a good deal, come see us at American Direct Auto. That's right, American Direct Auto in West Bernard and American Direct Auto in Winsboro. You may want to attend college. But you have a full-time job and kids that need your full-time attention. How can you possibly attend college? You learn online at South University. Earn your degree any hour, any day, from anywhere. And the credit transfer policies also make it easier to return to college. The convenience of taking classes where you want. The flexibility of taking classes when you want. So you can become who you want. South University Online. 1-800-234-1087. News, sponsored by Banner Ford of Monroe. The paper towel will absorb the acid. That's crazy. Green tea to calm acne. This is my favorite tip of the day. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Oh, that's genius. You just saved me 40 bucks. NBC 10 News wants to hear veteran stories. Go to MyArklamist.com to nominate a veteran you know, and they could be featured on NBC 10 News today. Salute to Veterans on NBC 10 is sponsored by Aero Dental Center. The latest local news is always a click away at MyArklamist.com. More rain and thunderstorms will continue throughout this morning. Again, winds and flash flooding will be the main concern with these storms, and they can still ramp back up for this afternoon for some of our parishes lying east of Highway 165. So through tomorrow, we will start to see clear skies. It's going to be a little bit better, but however, it'll still be warm and muggy through the start of the weekend as we hit the lower to potentially mid-90s. And then next week, we'll see another system bring back more chances of rain and thunderstorms, but it could be a tad cooler, though, back to the mid-80s. All right, thanks, Chase. Well, here at NBC 10, we want to know, are you making plans to be in New Orleans for the 2025 big game? To scan that QR code on your screen or go to myarklamist.com slash vote and let us know, and we'll take a look at the results throughout today's show. All right, and you are now looking at a live picture from our camera at the American University of Paris, and you'll be able to tune in to the 2024 Paris Summer Olympics right here on NBC. Game. The games kick off on July 26th, and they continue through August 11th. So a little bit of a street view this morning as Paris is in their afternoon and as we're waking up on this Wednesday morning. And we're yeah. continuing the same weather pattern, a little bit cloudy. Yes, absolutely. All right, we'll be right back. The latest local news is always a click away at myarklamist.com. The Gray Clinic in 